Hello everyone. Today's video is made for students who are preparing for upcoming grade 8 music theory exam. So today's topic will just focus on the poison six caught on your grade 8 music theory paper. First of all, you need to know that there are three steps to build the poison six chord that gives you an idea on what are the notes or accidentals that you need to look out for when searching for the answer during the exam. Without further ado, let's look at the three steps now. Step one, you need to flatten the second note of the key. Step two, you need to build a major chord. Which means the lower two note must be a major third, the upper two note must be a minor third. Step three, the important six chord must be a first inversion chord. Okay, so let's look at the first we built the chords in C major first. In C major, the second note of the C major is D flat. And uh, step two is you need to build a major chord. So D flat to F is a major third. And then F to A flat is a minor third. So D flat to F. Make sure it is a major third and F to A flat is a minor third. So after building the second step, the second chord, third step is to make sure that this chord is in first inversion. So the D flat must be flipped up. And then the lowest note has to be F and then A flat. Okay, so that is a step one, two and three. Now let's look at another key in uh, G major. Okay, for G major, I use the red color. G major, the key signature is F sharp. So uh, let's say if the, if the music is in G major, this is how we build the chord. First step, we flatten the second note, which is A flat. So from A flat, we build up a major third. So A flat to C is a major third. Then from C, you need to build up a minor third. So in that case, C, you need to add flat to E. So there's a step two, uh, major third and minor third. Then step three, um, first inversion chord, which means the C must be at the base. C, E flat, and A flat on top. So uh, that is the major, major key. Let's look at uh, some other key. For instance, if we build in E major. E major is a bit special. E major has four sharps. And in E major, the second note is F. But over here, the F has a sharp. So if the F has a sharp, we need to flatten it. So F sharp, we flatten it, it become a natural. Okay, so in this case, when the second note has a sharp, it will be affected because you need to flatten it. So F sharp become F natural after you flatten it. So after that, uh, starting from F natural, build a major third. F to A is a major third. Then A to C, you need to have a minor third. So in that case, the C must be put uh, natural. Okay, so this is how you build the major chord. Now, step three, build a uh, first inversion chord. So the F will be flipped up. So F on top. And then the bottom note has to be A and C natural. Okay, let's look at the next key. Another unusual key, it can be uh, A flat major. Mm. Four flats. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. So in A flat major, the second note is B, B for boy. Okay, this B already has a flat. So now you have another flat here. Do you think you need to double flat it? The answer is no. When the second note already has a flat, it remains as one flat. Okay, so these accidentals here means you have only one flat. Okay, so the B remains as one flat. So after this, build a major third, B flat to 
D natural is a major third. So from D to F is a minor third. Okay, so this is your B flat to D major third. Then D to F natural. D natural to F natural is a minor third. So major minor, so build a major chord. After that, you need to switch this, flip up the B flat so that you can form a first inversion chord. So B flat is on top, B flat, D natural, and F. Okay, so that is the answer for A flat major. Now let's work out the answer for this question. The instructions say, identify the Neponent 6 chords in the following example and mark it with a star. So first, you, you need to be able to identify the key correctly because if the key is wrong, you won't be able to find the answer correctly. So in this case, the key signature has two sharps and the first note is B. Okay, B, D, F sharp. So in this case, because it starts with B minor chord, so this is a B minor key. Now, first of all, you need to build the chords. The Nippon 6 chord in B minor. So in B minor, the second note is a C. So you need to have a C natural. Okay, because this one has two sharps. So step one, you need to flatten the second note, which is a C natural. And then uh, build a major third, which is E. From E, minor third is G. So after that, you need to flip up the C. So C natural go up will be here. C natural, E and G. Okay, so this is how the Nippon 6 should look like. So the base note is an E. Okay, so let's look for the C natural, E and G. Okay, so um, which means the lowest note must be E. So if all these notes are not E, you can just ignore it. So here you have an E. So the unusual note is a C natural. Once you can build the chords, you should be able to spot the answer very easily. You can see that the unusual note is a C natural. And the lowest note here is an E. So over here, you know this is a Nippon 6 chord. Okay, so this is how we spot the answer uh, quickly. I think and I think this is the fastest, fastest way to find the answer. So here we can uh, mark this with a star. And this is our Nippon 6. And another one that you can see is over here. One, two, three, bar five. That you have an E at the base. This is a hidden answer, hidden one. There are a lot of students miss it. And this is a C natural. This is another one. Okay. So uh, C natural, E and G. So this is another important six. Let's look at the second line. The C natural is here. And you have an E at the base. So this is another one. Nippon 6. Okay, so this is the one of the example of uh, how to spot the answer when you are given a piece of music. And this is the fastest way. So first, you must be able to build the chord so that you can have a mental picture of how the chord looks like. Then after that, you can start to search for the unusual note in that chord. So the unusual note over here is a C natural because in B minor, it's unusual to have C natural. And over here, we flatten the second note, which is C natural. So that is how you spot the answer quickly. Now let's look at the test paper. Uh, over here, we have this. Okay, and identify the chords mark star in bar 18. Let's look at bar 18 first. Bar 18 is over here. They're asking what kind of chord is this? So, and they want you to identify with either words or symbols. For each chord, you also need to indicate the position and show whether it's major, minor, or minor, or diminished chord. So this is in F minor. Uh, the chord is already given. And the first thing you need to find out is what kind of chord is this? Name the notes, okay? This is a D flat, B flat. Okay, so if you look at the key signature, the B has a flat here. Okay, so the B has a flat. And there's a G flat, B flat, D flat. And this D also has a flat. Okay, so let's arrange this chord in correct sequence. 
So if you arrange it in correct sequence, it should be uh, G flat, B flat, and D flat. So by looking at the interval between the notes, you can see that G flat to B flat is a major third, then B flat to D flat is a minor third. So major minor, it forms a major chord. So we can see that the second note of F minor is being flattened. Okay, so the G flat is unusual. Okay, they flatten the second note and then this form a major chord. And also you can see that the B, B flat is at the base. Okay, so this B flat, this B flat is at the base, which is a first inversion chord, which means this, this chord is in first inversion. So from here you can see that they flatten the second note. Okay, the, it flattened the second note, flattened the G. Secondly, it is a first inversion chord. And also, this is a major, this chord is a major chord. By looking at these three evidence, you can identify this chord as a dependent six. So, uh, first you need to identify, use words to describe, because this is a chromatic chord. For chromatic chord, we need to identify it with words. So this is a Neapolitan 6. Secondly, what position is this? Uh, this is a first inversion. First Neapolitan 6 has to be a first inversion chord. First inversion. And thirdly, is this a major, minor, augmented, or diminished? So this is a major chord. Neapolitan 6 has to be major by default. Okay. Um, so this is how we find the answer. And thank you for watching. I hope this video is useful for your upcoming music theory exam. If you like my teaching, please subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.